Next on Fox tonight, family members holding a candlelight vigil tonight in memory of a little boy who drowned. Anthony Tolano was just three years old. He was pulled out of a canal near 55th Avenue in Osborne yesterday. Fox 10's Justin Lum spoke to loved ones at the vigil tonight, and he joins us live. And John, Christina, pure heartbreak for this family who just lost such a happy little boy yesterday evening. And we want to give you a look at how much this memorial has grown within just the past couple of hours. We've seen balloons, flowers, candles, toys add up here next to the canal where a witness found Anthony in the water. The family of three-year-old Anthony Talano revisited their tragedy, walking to the spot where they lost their baby boy. Known for his smile and dancing, Anthony was loved by all. Around 5.30 Sunday evening, Phoenix police responded to 55th Avenue Osborne, where a passerby found Anthony in the Grand Canal, just 800 feet from his home, where his grandmother says he somehow left through the back door before family members noticed he was gone. My heart told me something. Then at that moment I heard when the ambulance was coming, I grabbed my car and followed, and then I saw my baby drown. Andrew Tolano says he bought his cousin Anthony some food Sunday, cherishing the moments they shared. He was loving, you know, he loved his family a lot. And uh, it's sad that, you know, he had to go out like that. You know, it's a beautiful child. Dozens came together to support the Tolano family, specifically Anthony's father, who held his son's blanket, a sense of comfort through the pain. Hopefully this will never happen again, and we could all learn one thing is that it's not, it's not about what happened and how it happened, it's about what's afterwards. What are we going to do afterwards for this family? And if you would like to help baby Anthony's family during this tough time with funeral expenses, we shared the GoFundMe link on Fox10Phoenix.com. Live in Maryvale, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.